when have we ever had some good old days? Like, uh, I, I think we've but we had some good old days back in the Oval Office. Back when we were having so much hot, hot, hot president sex. That's the whole fucking reason I ran to rule this fucking shit country. Supposed to, are, you, are you supposed to be like Kevin Spacey's character from House of Cards? No, I'm just supposed to be Kevin Spacey. <laughs> you know, he. I heard he was in the news, like something like, I don't know, he was... Uh... He raped four more people. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, he has four more counts of sexual assault. Not harassment, assault. God, God damn it. And there's apparently, like, some fucking, like, production company out there that hired him. He's, like, in this new movie. I don't remember what it's called, and it looks like dog shit. Uh, Critical made a video about it. But, um, he's in God it, damn. and he looks like a rapist in that movie, too. Ugh. Once a rapist, always a rapist. Did you know that, like, two of, like, did you know that, like, two or more of the people who spoke out against him have wound up dead? Yeah, I know. Especially Isn't that- Isn't that fucking crazy? That- that one, uh, that one ho uh, homosexual kid, right? Like, the, I think so. Yeah. Was he one of them? I think. Because, like, I remember just, I remember him mostly just because, like, he, well, him and also Kevin Spacey were in the news for a while. Uh, for yeah, about three that. of his accusers have died in 2019. Yo, and people are really about to say that, like, he has nothing to do with it? Like, I uh, well here at the Double D Experience, which is the podcast, because you know now, because you know Kevin Spacey went to Epstein's island. Like you know he did. <laughs> like, oh, of course, yeah. No, no, of course he did. Yeah. Uh, imagine he wasn't invited just because even Epstein thought he was pretty creepy. <laughs> 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 like Epstein's up with his homies and he's just kind of like yo yo we can't invite Kevin no more it's like why it's like dude like I know I get it like we have all these like kids and shit like around us but it's like dude he was like like there's like Hansy and then there's like Kevin Spacey Hansy like there's uh Kevin Hansy we call him like around here like he's uh he um yeah I don't know I don't I don't think we could bring him anymore but, yeah, you, know, like, you, you, you like, can Bill Kevin space yourself away from me <laughs> That's yeah, what we can get going can, on right here. Can you imagine, though? Like, he is just so bad among a whole sea of terrible people. Like, even they're like, bro, like, you got to take it easy, man. Like, you know, that's a little too far there. The worst part is that if all that conspiracy shit is true, I don't even know if I doubt Kevin Spacey is even the worst of the bunch. Can you imagine Kevin Spacey's the one that killed Epstein? Like, apparently Epstein's Stop. killed... Stop, Kevin stop, Epstein. Stop. Like, I was about to say Kevin Epstein. If they, like, fused together. <laughs> <laughs> Fusion! Ha! And then as soon as, like, the transformation's complete, he just, he just screams out, Little girls! <laughs> Little boys! Like, they got water uh, off! Uh, it was, like, teenage boys or young men, whatever. Kevin Spacey reminds me of some sort of, like, real-life, like, pedophilic version of Squidward. That's what he just fucking reminds me of. I feel like before he got kicked out of Hollywood... He could have been Squidward in the live-action remake of Spongebob Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> Promiscuous squillium, wherever you are. It, it, uh, it really... Promiscuous squiddy. Oh, oh, yeah, guys. B by the way, uh, welcome to our podcast tonight. Uh, literally tried to do the fucking intro and you yeah, cut me off with I more know. debauchery. I know, because, you know... I'm proud of you, Dennis. I know. I, I, I came back came back to like, you know just came back to the present you know what i mean uh, but uh so, yeah guys sometimes uh let's some, think of something sometimes real quick. kevin sometimes spacey sometimes always but always touching, exiled uh, from hollywood yeah. <laughs> or but, but always always touching young men yeah but asking. but always exiled from epstein's island so like <laughs> and hollywood I, you know i really want to but apparently not the uk like oh what the really no, you know, that that's where he filmed that those movies Ah, uh, okay. no, no, no! Those four charges of sexual yeah, assault yeah. was in uh, a UK what? court. Oh, mm, so I don't know. Like, I... Listen, bro, we but don't I... fucking want you in your con here. You get the fuck out of your a country. You, we don't want you in British Hollywood, eh? <laughs> you know, what's I, I... British Hollywood called? I was gonna say Bollywood, but then I was India. <laughs> <laughs> I was also thinking Bollywood, but I'm like, fuck, that is India, isn't it? I, I mean, they have like. Uh, they fanta, have... fanta, don't you wanna? Fanta, fanta, don't you wanna? Fanta, fanta. They have their own Hollywood. It's just like not nowhere near as like you know 
as kind of they're tight knit with Hollywood. Yeah, over yeah, here, aren't they? yeah, yeah. All yeah. their guys are like classically trained and all that shit. So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You you got your Daniel Day Lewis's and whatnot. Who I still very much think is one of the greatest actors of our mm. of our time. He's fucking insane. And how, uh, how and, good he is. And Craig Daniels. I mean, no, da- <laughs> Daniel Craig. <laughs> <laughs> Craig Daniels is that like some fucking like? He is that sounds like, like dis- an actor, doesn't he? Is that like the discount fucking whiskey like rip off ghetto Jack Daniels? I was, gonna, Daniels. I, was, I was gonna say he was like he was the one that played the hillbilly James Bond. <laughs> Name's Bond. James Bond. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's funny because Daniel Craig did do that. I mean, if you ever see Knives Out, is that like fucking uh, murder mystery? Yeah, movie? yeah. He puts on a real exaggerated Southern <laughs> role, like really fucking like I declare, son, I do declare. I know Ke- s- Kevin Spacey <laughs> was on my nuts. <laughs> and I know so I said right it before. Right down to the bayou. I know I said it before, but British people can do American impressions and accents all day fucking long and it sounds just it sounds completely believable like benedict cumberbatch for the most part like as he plays dr strange dude he sounds like every perfect other, american yeah, accent, he, he yeah. sounds like every other fucking guy i've ever met like that just heard their voice like he sounds every like every other but like you know again the moment we americans try to do a british accent we either go way too deep mm-hmm. and it sounds way too forced or it sounds as if like because, like, everyone already knows, like, right off the bat. It's, like, you know, like, fucking one of the examples, at least from my, I guess, like, memory, was uh, Robert Downey Jr. when he played uh, Sherlock Holmes. And people said, for the most part, like, yeah. you know, like, people were kind of like, eh, it's, like, fine, whatever. Like, you know, he's just like, he's like, oh, am I Watson? Like, you know, it's the real quiet, like, <laughs> Watson, What's it? I am on the verge it? of developing a way to suppress the sounds of a gunshot. And he just cracks open the blinds. Like, <laughs> 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 or it's like, you know, because everyone knows Robert Downey Jr. at this point. Like everyone kind of like everyone knows he like you know he, he like he talks like this like you know like it's like come on Captain America like actually no, that sounds nothing like, <laughs> like that was a terrible impression my bad. But, no, he um, does have that like sort of like fast pacing like yeah, yeah. That, like sort of fast pacing like tone to him. I I I need a, I need to have a sentence in front of me that sounds like something yeah. that Robert Downey I, Jr. would say before I could even like really try to like do an impression of him. Take it, away the suit. What are you? Billionaire, playboy, philanthropist. But uh, no, that's the thing though. Your voice is way too deep for his. His yeah, voice is not even like, that deep. Like it's at all. Not, no. So like yeah, going back to it, like British accents. I'm not saying I just hmm? I, I privatized world peace. <laughs> Single handedly privatized world peace. Can I also just say it too? Like, Robert Downey Jr. plays an asshole so fucking well. Yeah. That dude, my girlfriend, like, she only had recently gotten into like the MCU. We were not we're not like really that into it, but like when she watched Infinity War and then she also watched Endgame, which yeah. she both said like she was like, you know, I you know, I enjoyed it. For what it was, and obviously, but like in the first, obviously, couple of Iron Man movies, that we see Tony being like just a complete fucking asshole, like from yeah. beginning to end. Even when he was humbled, because you know he got shot and shit, and then like he got that thing in his chest, and mm-hmm. plus like he got kidnapped by terrorists. <laughs> so like you know, kind of humbles you a little bit. You Ch- know, changes a man a little. But, but he still just comes back and is just like cheeseburger first. <laughs> like, you know, like it just I would be the exact same way. Oh no, yeah, same. I'm eating fucking grubs and crud and sludge and whatever those fucking fuckers are feeding me, which may which might be nothing. They might just be giving me fucking water just so I could survive, <laughs> so I could build them a fucking omega death egg, you know, Dr. Robotnik <laughs> robot, right? First thing I want when I land on American soil, I am walking into a motherfucking Wendy's. And I am American, getting an American cheeseburger. I mean, that's the same thing that people say with people who've come out of prison. Because they feed you shit. They feed you oh, shit yeah, like yeah. maggots or whatever. Like just garbage mashed potatoes mm-hmm. and like horrible food and whatnot. That they say like everything tastes like divine as soon as you get out of prison. It's like godlike, mm-hmm. really. And so that's how I would feel if I was fucking kidnapped by terrorists too. Call me an asshole for wanting to go to fucking Wendy's before this nah. shit ass board meeting. Which why are you making me go to this board meeting as soon as I get back from being rescued by terrorists? I need fucking therapy, motherfucker. I need therapy. I need like alcohol. I need to fucking sleep, relax, something. No, um, uh, um. Uh, and also some 
Mr. Stark, you gotta, you gotta address the company. You've been gone for so long. You gotta and speak I'll... to the people. You gotta address the company. Fuck the company! And also, are you kidding me? You... I just got fucking extensively tortured. But at the same time, <laughs> let me relax. You also need some bitches on your dick, like. Yeah, like, I mean uh, that too. Yeah, you, you you gotta guess them, you know. Which like, is funny because as soon as he got back, he wanted less bitches on his dick because he's like, maybe I've had too many bitches on my dick, <laughs> and now it's time to not have as many I, bitches. I honestly thought, I honestly thought we were gonna get one movie where like fucking Tony's like illegitimate bastard or something like comes forward and he's just, <laughs> and he's just like, and in the same way that Tony announces that he's Iron Man, Tony dies and then this kid comes out. He's just like, I am Iron Man. <laughs> <laughs> completely forgetting Com- completely forgetting that he has a daughter like no one even cares like they, it's just like yeah. like, it's like what, she's not gonna become iron woman like she's too young for that <laughs> and like when pepper was in the fucking suit almost I, dude i almost forgot that he made that suit and then when she came out in endgame with that suit i was just like oh yeah i forgot she was she's still around <laughs> I, was yeah. like, I completely forgot. I was like, oh, yeah, I forgot Pepper's still around. Like, mm-hmm. Mr. Goop Lady. What is she? I thought, honestly, she was going to, like, shoot the goop out of the fucking Iron Man suit. She's like, she's like, I am Pew, pew, goop. pew, pew. Like little pussy beams. <laughs> I, uh, but yeah, no, honestly, the other way around, it's very different. I mean, obviously, actors are different, and they mm. learn what is known as more essential British accents. Like, mm-hmm. like I need to give you a call on the telephone. Like, phone, not phone. They say phone. Yeah, like, phone. You know, the telephone. But whenever anybody you ask, like the common man, like you mentioned, a- a- the common American tries to do a British accent. Oh, but, bro, they go straight to a but- fucking very exaggerated fucking cock <laughs> night. No, I exaggerate up on the ice London drink my Guinness, bro. It's more of an Irish drink, but I like that one a little bit more. My favorite sport's football. And if you don't like football, you're just a fucking cunt. <laughs> I, I said, see, I said cunt wrong. I said, I said cunt. I, I didn't say cunt. And that's my, the my thing, bad. though, too. Like, whenever we do accents, when Americans do accents, we do them in a way where it's almost as if we're making fun of them. Mm-hmm. Because it's like, we think that even our accent is like the accent. Like, everyone should the talk like accent. this. We, I, I am going to go get my credit card and go <laughs> the to the mall. I knew you were going to. It's like, and go to the mall. And, uh, <laughs> I knew you were going to do the and, fucking and, South Park and, thing. Uh, and uh, buy me some uh, Fila shoes and uh, go in my big SUV. Like everyone, th- <laughs> Americans really think like everyone should just straight up talk like that. And here's the thing, obviously, like Americans also got regionalism too. You know, everyone from New York don't like sound like anyone from God knows fuck who else uh, in Idaho. Like no one, no one cares. Like, you know. Everyone knows, like, we all got, like, our different accents. Like, you go to Florida, no one really talks like New Yorkers down there. Everyone just sounds Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, get in the taxi. Get in the taxi. Where, 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 where you want to go? Yeah. Every, where you want to go? If you go down to Florida, everyone knows everyone just sounds like Tony Montana. You know? Your, your shopkeeper, Tony Montana. Tony Montana. Ron, Ron DeSantis. He has a Cuban accent. <sighs> there's, a voiceover, there's a voiceover term for what is considered like a quote-unquote standard American accent. There's an actual like term for it. I don't remember oh, what it's it? called though. Oh. Yeah, I, 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 it's, it's like an actual like professional term in voiceover, but I don't remember what it's called. It's not like, not neutral. I mean, I think a lot of people sometimes say neutral, but there's an mm. actual word for it, like a type. Because what we're saying right now is an accent. Yeah. Oh, like I don't have an accent. Literally everybody in the fucking planet of this goddamn yeah. fucking earth has an accent yeah. you your accent is foreign to someone else you fucking ignorant kunta kinte it's fucking stupid <laughs> all right like everyone has an accent and don't get me wrong some people like even me and dennis like we fuck around all the time because of there are certain accents that sound a certain way based on you know the media that we've consumed they sound funny they sound funny like okay. fucking like ger- like you know like, like, like people- indian accents like come on how are you gonna take anyone seriously who is like hello my friend I have, you know, like, like, dude, I wish I could hear India's president. And this guy could give, be given, like, the, like the fucking farewell address of his life. But I will be laughing every single sentence of this fucker's damn speech. Because he has an accent like this. Like you're saying he'll say something that really nice. Be like, every, every bit of what I have done in my heart and in my soul. My heart. Has been belongs, for my country. It's like, belongs to India. And, like, they're all just, like, crying because, like, we love you. Like, we're going to no, no, miss but you. And then you're just there for some fucking reason. You're in the <laughs> crowd. And you're just, like... <clears throat> like, if I ever was, like, a foreign correspondent for fucking India, yeah. I'd be that one 
Asian American in that whole sea of brown people. Right. And like everyone's just like it's like oh it's like oh my god it's so beautiful like you know because like that's their accent. We, like, we love you, President uh, Kun- Vi- Vishnu, <laughs> <laughs> whatever whatever his last name is. I don't know. But like that's that they grew up with though. That's the thing. Like yeah, wherever like you're you're a product of your surroundings. That's a yeah. fact. And when it comes to like you know certain even music too, like you know you ever heard like Arab or even like Indian music? It's like, ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know like and <laughs> and then like for them that's like oh yeah bro like this is my jam like thing he's fucking just rocking out he's got his windows down shit fucks yeah it's like he's just like going down the road just like blasting it and then you know you hear passerbys and it obviously sounds different to us it's completely foreign like we like we, we don't know what the fuck they're saying first off and second like they it's like from what we're usually like have grown up with like let's say rock and roll or hip hop or even just like even pop in general like you know that's like completely oil and water at that point yeah americans are used to the same four chords yeah in every song (laughs) for the last like literally 20 years we've been listening to the same fucking song over and over and no one realizes it because they don't i'm not saying i understand music because i don't even know theory Mm. really but you know but literally most most pop music is literally the same four chords over and over it's that part that party pop sound it's the same bass some of it will have different Mm. melodies occasionally but the rhythm Always the, the the rhythm and the fucking undertones always the same. Some guy literally always up, the same. Like he broke it down and took like some of like the top uh top like Billboard like played them all yeah. in one big yeah, measure, yeah. right? And then like he just basically said like yeah you see he's like da 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 like it just broke it down and said hey look this is similar to this one and just kept breaking it down and like they're all practically the same honestly it's just like just obviously the lyrics are different uh but you know themes is. Regarding themes, they're all the same too. It's like, oh, we're gonna have summer fun. We're just gonna fuck all day. That's another one. <laughs> we're gonna like just shoot up drugs and shit. Like, think there's always like all this stuff that they always like kind of talk about. But fucking hipster pick me girl at Coachella. Are you talking about like the one that comes in Which just one? like, oh, uh, like uh, uh, my favorite band is actually um uh Blue uh, Simagrass. Uh, you, you probably never heard. Uh, oh, you have. Like, oh, you have. Oh, okay. Uh, it's not not a real band. Stop typing. Oh no. no. Or she would say, like, oh, my God, my favorite band growing up was Owl City. I loved Fireflies. <laughs> Can I say, I was I was at the gym one time. You would not believe your, your ass, ass if it's like- <laughs> you were just smoking grass. <laughs> and I lit the blunt when I fell asleep. <laughs> wait, wait. <laughs> so... I never watched, I never watched the music video for that song. And Shit has like a ridiculous amount of views. I, I went to a gym, uh, wasn't mine, it was actually my girlfriend's gym. And they have like the TVs that have like all the music playing like all the time. It's always like random shit. I went from like Owl City to Sync to fucking straight up Eminem. And like after that, like just Jason Derulo and then fucking abel like the weekend like it was just like all this fucking music just all bunched together yeah. but when it got to owl city right again i never watched the fucking music video for it and i never even knew what this guy looked like and i'm gonna be real he's about as what i thought he'd look like exactly <laughs> he is this left nothing to the imagination whatsoever fucking, twinkie uh... ass white guy like you know and to be fair to be fair this guy made millions off of this one fucking song. And here's the thing. Nobody gave a shit what he made after that one song. It was really like a one-hit wonder. Well, I mean, no, then I'm... he made even more when he did that song with Carly Rae Jepsen. Which one was it's that It's always a good time. Whoa, oh, 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 that was oh, him? Oh, oh I that. Was, know that. Uh, cross, that was, it was the super anime crossover of the century between Owl City and Carly Rae Jepsen. <laughs> it's the crossover that everyone has been waiting for. Yeah, no, that was him. Oh, didn't I? We know don't that. even have to try. It's oh, so that was him. Time. That was him. That's yeah. That, oh, and then he made sense. even more fucking millions upon millions. <laughs> and then he goes to the Hollywood parties. And since he's a sore boy, beta cuck, he sits in the corner while he watches Pete fondle Kim. It, it, like on the other side of the table. <laughs> it, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, you know, she, uh, you know, like her, her seamstresses or whoever ruined uh, Marilyn Monroe's dress. Yeah, yeah. I know. Did you I hear heard, about that? A I lot heard. of people are like really pissed about that. He- can I give my honest thoughts on that? Sure. Just for like a brief second. Sure. When I read that, when I read that, so here's the thing. As a guy, 
Well, context, by the way, in case people don't know oh, what yeah. we're talking about, real quick before we cut you off, uh, mm. at the Met Gala, which is a super duper fuck you, we have money, you don't celebrity yeah. uh, party that happens in wherever a uh, fuck is steady, Stan. Mm. And uh, <laughs> uh, Kim Kardashian went to that uh, with super omega fucking o alpha Chad Pete Davidson. And um, <laughs> as we all know, that's, uh, that's what men what men have peaked. We pe they peaked, you know. Pete, Average Pete men. Pete, Average Dav Pete Davidson, men. he's the perfect man. I'm sorry, everybody, you just gotta accept that. <laughs> 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 All right, they went, and Kim Kardashian, I don't know, probably paid out the ass or whatever. She made a deal <clears throat> with, uh, with the museum that had it. Uh, Marilyn Monroe's uh, seam dress. It's this beautiful white gown. Yeah, got some uh, bedazzled with, like, all these studs to it. Bedazzled and studs all over it. And she, it's famous because she wore it when she sang uh, Happy Birthday to John F. Kennedy uh, okay. in front of all those people, which let everybody know that they were fucking because she sang it like all seductively and shit in front of everybody. Left nothing to the imagination. And I don't know how much money that she had to pay or if they, they just got like no money paid and they just got like clouded into it or whatever. But these fucking morons... Let Kim Kardashian wear it. They let her wear it. It's on display at a museum, and they let her wear it. And then she was like tweeting about it, like I'm so honored to like let me to allow me to like wear this dress. This is a piece of history that I'm gonna be wearing. So and don't wear it then, you fuck. <laughs> be exactly. And because her ass has such a a huge yeah. amount of material inside of it, it it, it tore. Yeah. She tore she tore it or yeah. someone tore it like her seamstress is because it took like five motherfuckers there was a video of it on Twitter. It took like five motherfuckers and Pete Davidson like holding her hand, like holding her back for them to make the necessary adjustments <laughs> literally to get it around her ass. I'm being serious. Like they oh, like it took that many people. You know how like you know like uh like those uh actresses or whatever backstage like mm. they need to like have a quick costume change for a show and they get like five other women around them. Being yeah, like, yeah. We have to change her real quick. Da, 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 da. Mm. That's what they did to Kim Kardashian to get the gown on her, and to try to make sure they weren't damaging it. So it very well could have not been Kim Kardashian that damaged it. It could have been one of those people as well who were just trying so but hard to pull it underneath her cheeks, and like there was just so much fucking Grand Canyon like. <laughs> Earth shattering distance what that a, they had to like fucking space it around. It that it just. <laughs> but it ain't a real Grand Canyon, though. That's the thing. It was man made. Exactly. It was a man made yeah. Grand Canyon. Like, if it's, it's, the, it's the Erie Canal. <laughs> it's the Erie right. Canal. It's not the. Uh, <laughs> it's, not, it's not the Grand Canyon. So. And just my thoughts on that a little bit. Because, dude, I know people will probably give me shit for what I'm about to say. I'm going to be real. My first thoughts when I read that. Because. I just saw it on the headline, and I was like, oh, like, why would they let her do that? Like, you know, it's like, why'd they let her take the dress to begin with? Like, what the fuck? And, but then at the same time, and again, guys, no disrespect to people who, like, adore Marilyn Monroe or whoever, right? I couldn't, I, I'll be real. I don't care for Marilyn Monroe too much. As a man... I'm gonna be real. I really don't care for her too much. I get it. She's an icon of an age. She literally, like, you know, redefined a lot of things. Sure. But here's a th but then on the flip side, again, like I'm compartmentalizing here. As a guy who has a deep interest in history, the very fact that this fucking bimbo took the dress, like, and also the museum, it's like, why the fuck would you let like does nobody know the type of person Kim is? Like, honestly? she it's, She's not a person who cares too much. She doesn't fucking have any sort of, like, kind of sense of propriety either. It's like, yeah, okay, you can go on and tweet and say, oh, yeah, like, thing, it's such an honor and whatever, but that's easy. But, like... Yeah, words mean, words mean nothing. Words mean nothing anymore, honestly. Actions are everything. Yeah, and she ended up fucking, like, thing. I think it was a... Probably down the line, probably 50-50, the... Seamstress and plus the her ass uh, and her ass like it just Kim in general her fault and then plus even I'm gonna break this into 30 th uh, 33 for three ways because <laughs> it was them two and then the fucking museum because here's the thing I'm gonna break it into four ways real quick it was also somehow Pete Davidson's fault <laughs> <laughs> we have those big fucking man hands like they probably like just like it's getting a little too rough with the dress and shit but it was wow you look good babe <laughs> Oh, we're gonna send this to Kanye. He's gonna get real like this. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get real jealous. <laughs> but, oh, 
fuck. But for the real, I blame it three ways because it was the museum's fault for even giving her the fucking dress to begin with. It's like, yeah, that was weird. That because you know here's the thing, I get it. I, I bet you, it was a money thing, because I bet you Kim probably gave her like a big fat check and said, hey, if you let me borrow the dress for this one fucking party, here's the amount that you'll get. Because technically, technically. I don't know about Marilyn's fucking family. Like, I don't know, like, if they own that dress or not. But it seems to me it was museum property. If I may. Yeah. The real reason that people think it's very disrespectful is because Marilyn herself did not want anyone else to wear it after she died. It, it was actually in so her. Even, so it was just a matter of disrespect, honestly. It was also kind of spitting on her yeah, fucking grave, if I'm being honest. Y- you ain't honoring her fucking literally posthumous wishes. Yeah. It's like. So clearly, like, that's why, like. I guarantee you, the only reason why they even let her take the dress to begin with was because they that was a fat check that that, that she wrote out for them and said, hey. I would hope so. I, I hope they didn't get, like, clouded into it, like, bullied or whatever, no. being like, you don't think so? No. Because, no. like, thing, here's the thing, man. Museums don't make much money. They really don't. Like, they, it's not exactly the most lucrative yeah. fucking business. They work for grants. Yeah. That's true. So, like, think this was gonna be something that they're gonna have to write off on their fucking tax return later. But, like, basically, yeah, I guarantee you, like, her family, if not her mom, probably, yeah, came forward and say, like, representing her, look, listen, I want my daughter to wear this dress. Marilyn Monroe's wishes from the grave, be damned. Like, and, you know, here's, like, this amount of money, and you're gonna let her wear it. And I, mean, I guarantee you, that fucking museum curator, whoever, like, think fucking took that check, I guarantee you, he had a moment of weakness, he or she, and was just kind of like, like, it's probably a little, like, a temporary moral dilemma, but at the same time, it's like, oh, maybe, like, this money will save the museum and shit like that. And here's the thing. I bet you even that curator and whoever else, like, probably thought that, okay, the dress will just be worn for one night and it'll be returned. Everything will be fine. Anything but when they heard happen in one and, night. But the, when they heard that the fucking thing is just in the news, that curator probably had a fucking heart attack. I guarantee you. And now that yeah. shit has to be fucking put back on display... With all the seams, like, thing basically, like, sewn back up and everything. Like, you're going to see, like, those, basically, uh, the rips and tears and everything. You're going to see it. You can't hide that shit when it comes to dresses. And not that I'm saying I'm a fucking authority on that. I'm just saying, though, when it comes yeah. to ripped clothes in general, you're going to see it no matter what. Even if you patch it up the best way you can, you're still going to see it. It doesn't oh, matter. Oh, my God. So, like, <sighs> but at the same time, again, and I'm going back to this point. My initial thoughts were, again, I don't care for that much for Marilyn Monroe. For anyone who does, let's say, like, uh, like analyze her and stuff like that, eh, you know, whatever, you do you. Like, to be fair, in my opinion, all I know her for is that she was the one who slept with both the Kennedy brothers. That's all I know about her for. And maybe the few of the maybe movie roles that she's done, like, uh, during her career. Yeah. Like, but then I also, like... She was obviously a very complicated individual. I, I will give her that. Like, but, uh, but especially towards like the later end of her life, I heard like she was a fucking mess by the end of it. Like, that's and, how she, she OD'd. I mean, that's how yeah, she died. She exactly, had a yeah. drug overdose. So, yeah. like, basically, like almost like same thing happened with like even uh, Amy Winehouse. And I'll yeah. even argue like it's just like not that I'm saying there's a pattern there. I'm just saying though it's just like you know. I think for her story as well, like, yeah, it is sympathetic, but it's just, it just doesn't resonate with me as well. Like, I, and that's why, like, again, like, my concluding thoughts on it is the museum had a week, had a day of weakness. They took that check. I know it was a check. They're never going to say how much it was, but that definitely was a backroom dealing that they did. That museum took that check, gave her the dress, thought, okay, nothing is, nothing's going to go wrong. She's going to the Met and not some fucking wrestling match. So it's like, you know, like they, I, they, they probably thought it was going to be fine. But then they didn't realize how much of a gigungo mungo ass like they get Kim has. Like, like so, you know, it they just miscalculated and just, you know. Thinking about Kim Kardashian in a wrestling match. <laughs> I could see her like a Hell in the Cell female edition. Like they just, That's like, what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and now to AW Ohio, a new contender to the ring, Kim... Kardashian, boo, Dude, yeah. If, if in like 20, 30 years, her family just completely loses their standing, like just loses all their money, like her mom's going to be like, Kim, you're going to have to go join WWE. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to have like an ass smash move and stuff. Oh, that'd be amazing. 
And look, oh. not even just, like, yeah. to talk about Kim for a fucking minute, but with all due mm. respect, like, bitch, I I'm not the kind of person who cares this much about it. Like, I didn't look at this on Twitter, and I was like, yeah. hmm, hmm. I mean, I was like, I was like, okay, that's actually pretty disrespectful, but I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. Yeah. But at least Marilyn could act. What the and fuck can you do? Like, just, and, like, because you're the- And suck dick pretty good, apparently. And, suck, and suck some pretty <laughs> fucking good dick. Like, you, like- what? With all due respect, like you're fam you're you're one of those people, one of those women who's famous for doing nothing, like fucking Paris Hilton, literally nothing, yeah, and shit. And I mean, what Kim Kardashian is actually famous for was uh, that fucking, I think that porno with Ray J. Yeah, yeah, way way back in the day. We all saw it. Good. Yeah, we all saw it. Like, I don't understand why people. Wasn't look even down that good. On, I do not understand why there are people who look down on porn stars still to this day, when literally like one of the most famous people in the fucking world right now got famous for being in one. I'm just saying, mm. it's dumb. Like, don't be a hypocrite, all right? Yeah. With all due respect to her, like, I don't care for Kim Kardashian. I'm not going to sit here and be a hater or whatever, but, like, you didn't deserve to wear that dress, bitch. No. <laughs> you didn't. That no. should have stayed, like, and I deserve to wear that dress. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because of my podcast, all right? <laughs> because of the Double D experience, and we've talked about Marilyn Monroe on the mm. show before. I think we can all agree, it should be mine. It should, it, should, it should belong to good old Dave. It should belong to good old Nintunis. I think we can all agree to that. I think that seems fair. My ass would look fucking incredible in that <laughs> shit. If I'm being honest. Can, can I also- Because I'm pretty caked up for a skinny dude. Like, that's the Cuban side in me. I'm not gonna lie, my- For a skinny dude, my ass is actually kind of there. For, I'm gonna be real. For an Asian male, and yeah. typically we're flat on the front and in the behind. Right. Like, j like my girlfriend even tells me, I was like, damn, you got like, like nice ass and shit. Like, I'm just like- <laughs> <laughs> what bitch you checking me out right now like, and but uh I hope she smacked the shit out of your ass if I'm being honest she, she does sometimes and then I'm nice. like and then I'm just like go right that to her ass too just like and you have like just a war of attrition like, no just like we have a cold war we're like kind of just eyeing each other up and we're just kind of like should I do it now like, should I just wait like thing like, you know? <laughs> mutually <Fucking> mutually <laughs> mutually mutually assured ass slap literally <laughs> <laughs> but oh my god <laughs> you just stare at each other while you fuck and you both like, know it's just yeah, mutually it's like, assured destruction yeah. i like i literally am over like with like arms hunched over and shit like this I'm just like you're gonna do it huh? you're gonna you do, do it? It? you do it first you, you do it you yeah, do it do first it. babe do it <laughs> no i'm a no, I'm motherfucker you do it first but uh oh that's a mess so and I'll, i'm also just gonna want to try at least just to bring like the guy equivalent uh, into this it'd be the same if like let's say a basketball player it could be lebron whoever right he like lebron's like original lakers jersey no uh, no uh, like, no his original uh no no, uh, no. not he, lakers like, um no he would he it's like if he uh, would cleveland. ask cleveland if if he would ask the chicago bulls and they have their own museum i'm sure if they if he asked them oh i want to wear that original michael jordan 23 jersey yeah that would be like, and if Michael, let's say, also said, and you know, Michael's word is law, honestly, in the basketball world, his word is law, honestly. And I took and that it, personally. Yeah, and, <laughs> and if and if he, let's say, his wishes were that, like, I don't want nobody to wear that jersey, period, ever. That shit will be behind museum glass till, the, like, the earth is gone, essentially. <laughs> like, and it'll still be there. Yeah, and it'll, still, it'll still be there. Everyone will know that my fucking championship wins. <laughs> Everyone will know. Alien species drops down to the planet. <laughs> And everything, they'll be like, God damn, this man was ballin'. This man was goat. <laughs> he was the goat. <laughs> like, it would be that equivalent. <laughs> Pretty like, much, yeah. Like, and that in and like, of itself, I want honestly. The fucking aliens to recover like, this shit, bro. Like, <laughs> and, good. We're not like no sports fans, but at the very least, we do know that legacy is, impo is an important mm -hmm, thing. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. you respect. Especially if, a, if it's a person you... If it's a person that, let's say, like, you deem that legacy worthy of, then yeah. Like, you respect it, and you don't fucking go against it in any way, shape, or form. Mm -hmm. And I even, like, I don't know. Like, again, I don't know, like, about Marilyn's, like, descendants or the rest of her family. I don't even know if she even has any at this point, like, because we don't really hear nothing about them. But, like, you know, I bet even they're, like, they fucking probably fuming. I would not be surprised if they fucking even just straight she up like she never had kids. That's the I thing, right? Think, like I don't, I don't think, think so. she did. Yeah. She no, oh, I, don't, her, I don't know how much family she has left. Her any. legacy is gonna be the sons of the people she fucked, essentially. 
That's oh. all they kind of like. That's all she has for like I guess descendants wise. Because it's like I don't even know. Like if uh, I think she was married. I'm not. I'm not sure. But like um, inside Marilyn Monroe's family tree. Uh, hold on a sec. Did she have a kid? Wait, 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 Must have been real low key then, because like we know we'll hear nothing about um, her children. Well, hold on a second. God damn, I'm looking at this. I'm just looking at her fucking Wikipedia picture, and she she still look, looks fucking hot. Like, it's not so often that you see like you know somebody like who was considered like a woman who was considered like the quintessential beautiful woman of an older mm-hmm. time, and looking back at her and still being like, damn, like she's still hot. Like I would still do that. Um, or like, you know, still very much go on that way. <laughs> I don't think she... No. Yeah, so... Barbitu- in- barbiturate overdose. Mm. Found nude in bed, hand on phone. Took 40... Pi- Ugh. Mm. Ew. Uh, no that's that's horrible. Oh, she died on my birthday! Oh. Oh, shit! Oh, no. That's a shame. Oh, that's cursed. So her last spouse was Arthur Miller. Yes. And they, but they divorced in fucking sixty one. So yeah, I think a she year just, before he uh, before yeah. she died. Yeah. So I think she just died uh, single then. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think she. No, she didn't have any kids. Yeah. Oh so, boy. Okay. Uh, can we get some, so yeah, we got some F's in the chat. From so, she, so her family tree ended like at her apparently. So I, I guess. mean, unless, unless she had a brother or sister, I don't know. But I like, don't think it said. Yeah, I guess so. So. Uh, mm. That's even worse, though, knowing that. Because it's like, you know, she has no one else to, like, kind of carry on her legacy now at this point. I mean, to be fair, her legacy is probably a very... Not exactly a very black or white one. It's very complicated, but at the same time, it's like... Again, again, for people like me who almost know nothing about her, all I know her for is that she fucked the Kennedy brothers. And that's about it. Probably As far as that goes. And and, 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 uh, Marlon Brando. And Marlon Brando, yeah. He's like, he was like, I will never give you a cock you can't refuse. Like, <laughs> actually, no, that was before. She died before The Godfather came out, even. Yes, she did. That, that is true, yeah. So yeah. That was just him when he was like perfecting it. He's just, he's like, he got the little stuffing in his mouth, and he's just like, you, you wanna, I'm gonna teach you how to, how to use that mouth of yours, all right? <laughs> lord <laughs> but, well um, that's yeah that's just my whole thing because it's like again she has no one else to carry her on her legacy like there's really no one the only people who like really i guess knew her are also dead too they're all gone her ex-husbands yeah, they're all dead all, not to mention all the kennedys not all of them are dead too pretty much yeah most of them like there's nobody who... some of jfk's kids are actually still alive that won't it won't be for that long, though. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, yo. Um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Just kidding. I wouldn't I'm not, I mean, I'm But not, it's just no, like, no, but dude, no, no. you think like it's like a fucking meme at this point. It's like, oh, another Kennedy reached adulthood. The clock started ticking already at that point. It's like, when is it going to happen? Jeez, my fucking family's cursed. <laughs> yeah, like for real. It's, for real, actually cursed. Like, yeah. <laughs> Nothing bad ever happens to the Kennedys! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Silence, broad! <laughs> I... Uh, I do not wish to be horny anymore. I just want to be happy. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's that uh, news, But been, been in the Navy for years. Never tasted anything that fishy. <laughs> Clone High had some good jokes, honestly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have never actually fully watched it. I just watched, like, this one joke compilation that they had. I'm an idealist with a sniper rifle. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, but, um, you know so what yeah, else? Yeah, that's, that's uh, Monroe of Maryland. Um, so, uh, all right, guys, I think this podcast is over. Goodbye, guys. <laughs> I don't know if it's on the channel yet, but you know what else had some banger music like we were talking about earlier? Mm. Would be Mario Strikers Battle League. Which, I'm going to be real. Uh, let me just preface it by saying, I actually didn't know it came out already. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was it a dropped. pretty silent release. It dropped say. on Friday. It, it dropped like a couple of days ago on Friday. I'm not going to sit here and uh, I'm only going to do a quick thing because I'm not going to sit here and, you know, give a whole review of it or anything. 
Uh, because Question. unless it's on the, unless it's on the channel already, there will be a full review on on my channel I'm making. However, old Nintunist is back in, in the two hours of uh, recording footage that I may have done last night. Your boy may has forgotten a lot of things about being a content creator. Such as that, when you are writing uh, video footage to a hard drive, it is probably very optimal <laughs> to make sure you have enough space on that fucking drive. <laughs> and quite literally, exactly halfway through rendering that file of two plus hours of gameplay of me exploring the whole game, gone. Corrupted. Like a light switch. Oh, off in the fucking bank, bro. Oh, it was... I was so mad. I, I will not lie to you. So mad. I, I know, I mean, I know the footage I have to re-record, and hopefully I won't have to get as much this time, but, like, I even, like, recorded audio with it, too, in case I wanted to mix in some live reactions to what was going on, and just, nah. <laughs> it's all gone. Much like, you know, the old Paper Mario episodes with the shiitake mushrooms audio that me and Dennis screened into a Yeti microphone together. <laughs> Gone, standing to the test of times, and so boldly goes wins against the current. <coughs> Nintunist attempts to return to the old him, and alas, the universe tells him no. But I say, my God, why? Stand against the test of time. Make shitty video game reviews to get people to listen to your shitty podcast. <laughs> make attempts <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that <sighs> well so, so when can we expect that video uh I'm literally gonna you know start recording more footage for it today it's Tuesday so I'm gonna try to get it out this week I'm gonna try to get it out as soon as I can and so, uh real quick what what are you gonna do before you record uh what do you mean what is that most precious step that you have to make sure, like, you Oh, do? I already had a mountain of old footage that I was going to use for this old series that I was going to do, but I recorded it years ago, and it's super outdated. I perma-deleted all of that shit, and I had, like, hundreds more gigs on that drive. I, I, I literally already... I did it in the middle of rendering it. So I'm like, oh, shit, maybe it'll keep going because the light was still green, and it'll keep <laughs> writing to it. No. <laughs> no, it just stopped dead. Okay. It just okay. stopped fucking dead. Okay, real quick. This ain't going to be a review. Three hours down the drain <laughs> of my fucking life. It's like, you know how little free time I have anymore? Bro, it reminds me of, like, uh, that one scene in Toy Story where, like, fucking Woody's, like, dragging buses. Uh, bu bus. Buzzes. Like, He's dragging buses. Yeah, dra buzzes, what? Woody, Woody's just, like, dragging buses. just getting fucking ripped right now. <laughs> dragging a wagon, bro. Like, he's, like, dragging Buzz, like, out of Sid's sister's room. And mm -hmm. Buzz just, like... Years in the academy, wasted. <laughs> Instead, it's just David. Like I'm just like dragging David out of his room because he's just like years of recording, wasted. <laughs> As Dennis has actually done before. Uh. Uh, I hope they. I hope they address that in Lightyear. All his years at the academy and like uh, just a callback to that. Uh, to that I, first scene. I'm really also wondering too, like how they're gonna play the whole like Darth Vader, like I oh, I am your father, like Zerg shit because like you know obviously it was like made apparently in toy story 2 people are saying that the canon in that his whole backstory that we got of the toy and, sh and yeah. like is everything is the ex exact backstory so i'm just kind of like so yeah. is yeah zerg is gonna be like that's a line that's that's a line yeah. in toy story 2 where they're like uh the 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 fake buzz is fighting um he's fighting uh zerg. what the fuck zerg in the elevator yeah. and zerg tells him he's his father and he's like no and everyone's yeah, like yeah. Oh, oh, get it the star wars joke so, whatever so I that's mean, that's canon now pixar you can't fuck that up so you think we don't remember that fucking movie but you i'm think also we don't fucking remember i'm like just wondering too like if it's just gonna be like you know oh because like it at that point it's like okay like you know we know the twist at that point because it's like Buzz in that in, in light year is gonna be like, oh yeah, my father like he disappeared, like no one knows what happened to him, blah blah blah, whatever. And then like after he like stumbles upon like Zerg, and then Zerg's gonna be like, <laughs> like this like, wait, what the fuck? Like and Zerg's in the movie, like he was in the trailer, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They should. Yeah. Well, he he looks like, a, like he looks different. No, he looks different, but like he he looks uh, like more robotic even yeah, than like, yeah. the version that we saw in like Toy Story and shit. So it's like. 
at that point, I'm like, is he just gonna be like some Krang shit from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? It's gonna be his brain and shit like inside the body, and like that, the whole thing is just a robotic fucking puppet that he just like rolls around in. Maybe. Reminds me of like you know the it reminds me also of Toy Story too. It just reminds me of how much of a fucking gamer Rex was. Yeah, you remember I like the whole movie? Scene, he's though. just so fucking obsessed with like finding out how to beat Zerg, and then when he goes to the toy store and he finds like the like the uh, the player's guide, dude, he even finds the fucking cosplays. He yeah. cosplayed while playing. Like he had the whole helmet on and everything, and he was just playing on the little Super Nintendo controller. I mean, evidently he was trash because he needed a fucking guide, fucking beta ass <laughs> gamer. But like. <laughs> But in his defense, he also has very tiny arms. So, like, that's that's true. He probably can't, like... Can, can we also just say, like, I know that that whole opening scene in the second movie was, like, supposed to just be, like, part of the game, right? Yeah. But those are some pretty fucking good graphics for a Super Nintendo game. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, yo, god damn. That shit was so... I mean, here's the thing. They shouldn't have used a Super Nintendo in that scene. Toy Story 2 came out in, uh, 99. No. no, 98. It was 97, actually. Let me see oh, it was 97, I think. But the N64 and the PS1 were already out. For 99, like a year. Yeah. It was 99. Oh, yeah. it was 90. Okay, yeah. it was Toy Story 1 that but came that, out in 97. But you I know think. the thing? Visually, so this should have been an N64. But, but, so the graphics would make a little more sense, right? But visually, visually, I'm just saying, just going on aesthetics, Super Nintendo controller looks better than the N64 controller. And here's the thing. David just left because he just got uh, he just felt as if, he just looked as if I just insulted his mother but I grew up with the N64 controller guys like I grew up with the N64 I grew up with it like that was my first like real system the N64 and David brought out his uh, Super Nintendo controller and this isn't the SNES mini one either I actually bought a real SNES recently Ooh, with the from, original uh, uh, from a friend of oh, mine he, okay. he vends like classic games and stuff okay. like that like japanese copies of games this isn't a japanese snes yeah, yeah. but it's uh it's an american snes but i never Wouldn't owned be, a snes before it'd so... be super famicom over there right yeah over there's the yeah. super famicom and these buttons would be red blue green yeah. and uh yellow <laughs> Yo, instead of the bland controller... and i know instead of the bland so ass better instead it of the bland so ass better. like two fucking shades of purple that and, they gave us instead and we gotta taste that with the new 3ds because like they uh the new 3DS, like, when it first came out, like, the buttons for the A, B, X, and Y were all, like, different colors. It was red, green, yellow, and blue, I think. So, mm. like, we got a taste of that with that. But here's the thing. N64 controller, honestly, looks like, from a certain angle, it looks like a dildo. I'm gonna be real. Like, they're, like, can you imagine, too, like, Rex is in between the two, the three arms of the controller? He would just have to grab fucking ham <laughs> like and have him, like, <laughs> run the other side of it, pretty much. It's a fat controller, man. It's huge. The N64 what it is. controller, from how it looks, and just because I'm, it's what I grew up with, I'm yeah. ridiculously nostalgic for it. It's the worst motherfucking controller ever yeah. made. Yeah. It's garbage, yeah. man. It's like, it's not it has an extra handle. For no fucking reason. Yeah. Like, <laughs> games didn't even utilize the D-pad like that, so there's no reason to even have the one at the other end. Even speedrunners for Mario 64, mm. they use the Hori pad now, the one that just has two grips on yeah, it, yeah. and the control stick at the left. Because the D-pad on the fucking N64 controller is so worthless. useless. It's it does worthless. nothing in, like, any fucking game. Dude. I, I wish someone could drop a statistic of like all the like, the damaged parts like that would end up being damaged like on an N64 controller. I'm gonna tell you this right now. It would be that little control stick in the middle. Because I remember people were really rough with that fucking thing. Especially for certain games that I played. Like I was like spinning it the fuck around. Like You know the hard. thing in the Mario Party minigame where you had to put your palm on it and like you yeah, yeah. spin the cycle to get away from yeah, the boo. Yeah, kids were literally burning their like getting blisters yeah, on their hands. That was that me! Shit, to the point where they literally sold a glove. They had to, they started selling a glove with Mario Party to, to play it. This was before like joystick covers, like and everything too, like that we kinda know of today. Like so you know, Which is funny, because it literally had a joystick cover, too. It was just- it was still as hard as the actual joystick, though. Yeah. Another reason that that controller was fucking dog shit. And then, other buttons would also be just everything to the right. A, B, exactly, the yeah. fucking C-pad as the, well. The camera everything. buttons, yeah. The Every C-pad. other button. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Nobody ever touched that fucking D-pad. Nobody ever touched it. It was no, always- games didn't even utilize it. Yeah, exactly. Because it yeah. would just be the middle and the right arm that you'd be- holding the controller at 
Yeah. And then never the left. Like, the left was almost untouched. Like, it would be insane to see, like, if someone could do, like, a bacteria scan or, like, whatever. Like, that entire side is just completely clean. And everywhere else is just everyone's got their fingerprints on it. That's how yeah. it would be. And and I'm also glad that even though, you know, GameCube, GameCube was the next one afterwards. And when GameCube came out... A lot of people were like, what the fuck is with these weird shapes that Nintendo keeps making for the controllers? Because the GameCube controller wasn't exactly the most, like, you know... You know? Yeah, like, they, yeah. they wanted to be different from PlayStation. Yeah, yeah. You know, they wanted to set themselves which apart. Because the, the PS1 destroyed the N64. Mm. As, it, as popular as the N64 still was, as beloved as it is, that generation, the PlayStation destroyed it. It sold yeah. way more. On so, the, uh... On the Gamer Olympics, like, fucking, like, uh, rankings, like, PlayStation was number one. For a while, like yeah, and, and because everyone was like Nintendo. Was. Why are you still using cartridges? Yeah, because was, discs were like the new hotness. Yeah, yeah, exactly, and all that yeah. stuff. And now we reject, we reject, reject modernity. modernity and back. return to cartridge. <laughs> which <laughs> like, I like. The, which I like. Yeah, me I like, too. I love, I love me some cartridges. I just, I like going all digital with my Switch mm. personally, but I have some physical, uh, some physical copies as well. I like, I like holding the fucking thing. Yeah. And not to mention even the way like how digital licenses are also kind of like you know uh because like apparently oh if you own a digital copy it's technically not your game because you don't own it even have though you, you uh, paid for it have you ever seen our fuck gaming no i want you to take a guess at what you think that subreddit is about no don't look first guess first it's just about people hating games nope the fucking games like they're literally like you know just bending it over and like just fucking a mario plush or something like what nope what is it how about you look it up you told me not to look it up the fuck i, wa I wanted you to guess first r slash fuck gaming you want to take a look at that subreddit real quick fucking sucking gaming <laughs> I'm gonna be real. I'm a little disappointed. I didn't think it was that on the nose, but okay, like it, it literally is just. Uh, yeah, guys, um, for your uh, for your homework assignment tonight, go on uh, go on r slash fuck gaming, and uh, you will send us your favorite videos, and, and, and you'll be mildly impressed with everything oh. you're seeing. Like, dude, DM us on Twitter your favorite uh, videos on r fuck gaming. Please. Dude, there's like this girl just going at it, like, on this dude's dick with her switch, like, right on top of his cock. It's just like, wow. <laughs> like, good lord. This is, uh, this is, uh, wow. How many, how many people are on this subreddit? 446,000. Oh. I know it has no reason to be the way that it is for all of you to know if there there is a subreddit for everything. everything. Yeah. It there, sucks there. because I wind up browsing Reddit sometimes, but I don't have a Reddit account. I will never make one as long as I live. The only reason I do is because I go on Reddit and I'm going to go jack off and then I just I'm at the front page and yeah. I just get hooked on to something real quick because that's how they get you. I literally only use Reddit for porn and I just wound yeah. up like browsing like through it and mm -hmm. it sucks because reddit has that same twitter effect where it's just like everything sucks we're all gonna die fuck everything <laughs> fuck you. like I, I i like i'm a youtube commenter who has more legitimacy because i use reddit now like it, it's just like all fucking Can sorts of we're gonna wrap shit we're gonna wrap yeah we're gonna wrap by the way we're done and, we're done but it's just like you know i'm just gonna say something real quick about reddit and like i know i said it before but i guess for any new people maybe who'll be joining us like reddit is really not that much better than twitter honestly two it's sides a, of the, two sides a, of the same coin it's literally just the same shit you read on average at least like every day even no matter what kind of subreddit you go to dude i have never seen like next to twitter people complain that much about any and everything on that site on reddit dude even if like let's say dude that's what gets more attention super, super mario strikers right battle league mm -hmm. came out yep last week Yes, it did. And, you know, people, like, 
on average on subreddits even gaming subreddits that i've seen like you know people one out of ten would write like oh my god this game is amazing like i love it it's the like you know this the truest successor to the original strikers i like you know the customization's great and whatever and then the nine out of ten is people that are gonna complain about this thing or the other sometimes in varying degrees sometimes people's like criticisms are legitimate i'm not saying that but it's just like so there are those who would go like way overboard with the fucking criticisms to the point where it's just straight up like saying that game is bad because a b and c and like you know there is nothing they could do about it because it's that's my opinion and it's trash and here's a whole fucking novel of text as to why this game is trash do not <laughs> take advice from, from people, people who do not leave their houses yeah or just reddit in general <laughs> dude dude are you you know that movie tangled that uh, you know that movie tangled yeah i know tangled <laughs> I really, I really like that movie. That's actually one of my favorite Disney movies. It's like a, okay. it's like a t retelling of Rapunzel. Yeah. It's a really cool story. Um, th that movie is literally about a girl touching grass. <laughs> it's true. I'm dead serious. It, that movie is literally true. about a person touching grass. That's that's the first scene, or not the first like the, the first scene <laughs> when like, she there's there's a literal <gasps> zoom there's a there's a close up shot of her bare feet touching the grass. And she's talking about how much she loves the grass and how it feels and the dirt because she's literally never fucking touched grass before. <laughs> <laughs> and it sucks because it's not her fault. She's not an incel. You know what I mean? She's just, she just had an abusive mom yeah. and didn't realize it. Well, this wasn't even her real mom. No, it wasn't. Some yeah, just bitch some, who kidnapped her. <laughs> just some bitch who wanted her hair because she's just like, I want to be young and beautiful. Just because she couldn't embrace the fact that she was a MILF now, or, you know, that she was going to die. But, uh, whatever. We're done. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, very good fashion. I loved what we did today for episode 75. Yeah. This was the 75th episode of our fucking show. 75th episode, and we did it in old, classic, Double D experience style. Where we just come in with no topics, and we just segued from one thing to the next willy-nilly. And talked about nothing for an hour. And we're very grateful and glad that you guys could have joined us. So that being said... If you had a good time joining us, don't be a fucking moron and just hit the subscribe button. Just do it. Please. And Please. like us. And like us. And, and tell your grandpa who's probably comatose and about to die, like, oh, grandpa, it's a great podcast. And he would be like, Ugh. that was the worst shit I've <laughs> ever heard. And then he Guys, just dies. Believe it or not, there's been a study that's been done about a podcast. And believe it or not. Mm, I remember. If, I read that study. Yeah. So if uh, you, uh, three out of, four grandpas who listen to our podcast who are comatose actually get restored back to health after listening to us so uh, if you guys want to save your comatose grandpa you know uh show show a little bit of our podcast to him and you'll probably be like just like grandpa joe at the end of willy wonka where you know i thought you were fucking paralyzed grandpa what the fuck and he just starts dancing around and shit like it's as if like oh i've been faking my illness for years because i didn't want to talk to my family you know maybe yeah. or something like that i don't know but maybe you'll get the truth get to the bottom of the truth of it by showing them my podcast yeah. so uh yeah guys um here's our i keep doing this thing i keep putting my hands up as if i'm presenting something but no one can fucking see me anyway I mean, hey their grandfathers are blind and you know you saying you don't want to cure your, your grandfather's blindness you don't want to fix their atrophy no nah. you're being that much don't be you you have the opportunity to help your grandparents by showing them the double d experience and you're not doing it well in case you need help like learning how and where to do that <laughs> there it is <laughs> All right, you can follow us at Double D Pod on Twitter at the Double D Experience Twenty One on Instagram, and we're available wherever you get your podcasts, such as Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor Radio, uh, all that uh, Radio Public, all that mm. good stuff. Uh, and right here at youtubecom slash to hit the subscribe button if and you haven't already, and uh, definitely leave us a good review if you guys want. That would yes, actually please. probably help us out a little bit as well. We got to get some good reviews on there because apparently those do those do help with your SEO. We're done. Uh, we love you guys. Save your grandfather. Yeah. By giving him a little dose of uh, doctor's orders. Dose of Double D podcast. Mm -hmm. It's good for him. Gives him vitamin D. You know, the most important vitamin. <laughs> I don't even know if that's true. <laughs> vitamin Double D. <laughs> Send us your favorite videos on our on our slash fuck gaming. <laughs> on, in our DMs on Twitter. Or on Instagram. Send us your favorite r slash fuck gaming videos. I'm so glad I don't have Reddit anymore. No all right, bye, guys. Bye. Lights off. Uh, dreams, we love you. We'll see you there.
Bye. Let's go. <laughs>